Marty, darling, it's moi, Hugo. Where are you? In a layout sport. Just meet me at the Twin Pines Mall at 1.15, okay? Wait, wait a minute, 1.15 in the morning? Yes, I've come up with a dastardly cunning plan. What's going on? Meet me and we'll take the DeLorean back to the 1960s, buy a bunch of Rolexes, then go back to the future, sell them, and make an absolute killing. Got it? Yeah. Listen, I must dash. I have Pilates class with Spielberg and some of my A-list chums in five minutes. You know, you really should try it sometime. It's simply marvellous for the joints. Keeps one so supple. Toolpip. I'll keep that in mind. Drops away! Heaven, here I come. Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. And today, I guess you could call this a a uh, gentry in a jiffy episode because it's very quick and easy mod you can make to these new data bank or calculator watches that were released in the summer of 2020. Now, if you missed my fairly recent video, I think it was just before Christmas on affordable best Casio's under $50. Do check that out because I go into the history. I'm not going to review the new release of the um, famous Back to the Future watch because it has been covered to death on this channel. I have seen a red one out there, although I can't seem to find it actually for sale anywhere. The three releases were this kind of subdued azure blue, almost navy, um, slightly grayish, almost a Aegean, you could say. And then there was olive green, more of a tactical military-esque look. And then of course, probably my favorite, a snow white or perhaps apple blossom white, but uh, very nice indeed. I really like this one. So I snapped one up, very affordable, 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll add some to the um, UG store. Uh, there's a link in the description as always. But the main changes were they simplified the playful colors to a monochrome, removed some of the extra text. Essentially the functions and everything is exactly the same. They added a plastic black gloss buckle and made the LCD a uh, negative. And this really kind of killed this new release because at first I was really excited uh, with these new playful options on such affordable, you know, movie star, wonderful nostalgia that is just so accessible. And I felt on the whole, it, it was a big missed opportunity to upgrade the module. I would have loved to see a backlight. This is of course the Achilles heel of the calculator data bank. You can always go with the more expensive uh, DBC series, but of course those are over 50 bucks and they are wonderful i have one and i'll return to that in a moment and as you can see the display is appalling absolutely terrible so on the whole bit of a disappointment however if you spend an extra 20 bucks buy the original you can easily swap them out but you really do have to pay attention to a few little um, tips and tricks that i'll share with you so you don't muck it up now, first of all you get your standard calculator watch ca53w Unscrew the case back and you'll need a very small Phillips screwdriver for this. The tiny screws are minute. So I have one of these little plastic cases that the memory cards for my camera come in. So just pop them in there because honestly, I had one fall on the floor and it took me about <laughs> half an hour to find the, the ruddy thing. So anyway, then gently prise out the, the module inside with a flat head uh, screwdriver. And Bob's your uncle, there's the 3208 module. Then of course you repeat the process with the new calculator data bank there. Now before you replace the negative display module with the regular module, make sure you give it a brush. You don't want any little annoying bits to um, get trapped in there and then have to take it out all again. And also give the inside the display a brush as well. 
Now pay attention to this because this is crucial. Make sure the buttons are fully pressed out because otherwise they will not function. And also pay very close attention to the gasket because if it is not positioned properly, it will compromise the water resistance. Then screw it back in and there you have it. As for the spare parts, I decided to actually remove the bracelet from my big boy databank and swap it out and it fitted perfectly and it's actually transformed this watch because with my skinny wrist sometimes I find the bracelet tends to make the watch sit not flush with my wrist now it's insanely comfortable and of course with the big daddy databank I can now enjoy it because I, I kind of had it a, a, more of a, a bit of an objet d'art uh, because I just I just adore the design of it uh, funnily enough it actually looks like the um, Giugiaro DeLorean um, and the keyboard with the Star Trek style uh, panel is just so lovable so I'm really getting a new lease of life out with this but at the same time you know keep the gasket keep the battery keep all the bits and bobs from the old uh, databank or you can put in the negative module very easy very simple take you about 10 minutes now I'm enjoying this new version of this quintessential icon and if you want to add an extra bit of pizzazz fitting a strap to it is super fun even in NATO whatever takes your fancy because at the end of the day this watch is about fun and nostalgia so while Casio's new releases were a bit of a disaster um, you can turn them into the perfect data bank so whether you're you know back to the futuring not even a word or just breaking bad being a walter white you're gonna get a kick out of this and i think especially for us 80s babies while the buttons are still as ever a little bit tricky to operate it is functional and i have to admit fairly useful you can switch between 12 and 24 hour formats. There's the hourly chime, a one one hundredth of a second stopwatch, split time, daily alarm. Inherently accurate, of course. An extremely scant 25 grams, including the strap. You almost forget you're actually wearing it. Somehow the white is a little bit less nerdy. Um, it's a great fashionable accessory. Uh, quirky, but, but just so enjoyable. Uh, the dimensions are exactly the same and still has all the little indentations and kind of brutalist cutaway sections. The retro sci-fi feel is to some degree even accentuated by these new colours. Inherently accurate of course, but Casio if you are listening please do add a backlight to this. I mean what more could you want? Right, just a very quick video today. Let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. I, I really appreciate the support. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.